y'all. Hey, y'all know what it is. It is replay Monday and trust issues. I taught on this four different times in four different ways. So for me, spiritually, I have to alert myself to say, what is it we need to be paying attention to? So we're back here again at the table to deal with our trust issues, but to also recognize that God has a perfect plan for us. God has a land for us and God did not come to leave us incomplete. Do me a favor, hold on tight. And even if you feel challenged to, Go and look up the other videos on Trust Issues and see what God is saying to us. But whatever you do, don't forsake this teaching because God longs to have you secure in him. I'll see you right back after the replay. I want to intercede today for relationships. Um, I just, and I'm going to give you the scripture that God gave me um, to pray um, for us this morning. I want to intercede for our relationships. I want to believe God that today is the day that every relationship we have in our life aligns with the word of God and that we will not be connected to any relationships that do not give God honor, that wherever we go and wherever we are, the glory is being gotten out of our life in every relationship um, we were we are in. And so there is a particular scripture in Ezekiel. It's the 36th chapter and it's the 24th verse. And as I was um, praying for you guys. This was the scripture that I just began to focus on, right? Because as he's talking to them, it says, for I will take you out of nations. And I'm just believing this morning because, you know, I believe we, we, we pray the word of God here. I'm just believing this morning that God is taking you out of any relationship. And any circumstance and any situation that has been hindering you or preventing you for coming into a closer relationship with God, anything that has become any relationship that has become an idol in your life, any relationship that has become too cantankerous, too difficult, right? To anything that's crazy, anything that's attached to your life that is so not like God, right? And it says, for I will take you out of the nations. I will gather you from all countries and I'm going to bring you back into your own land, right? And so I'm just believing God today that he's severing the ties, that he's closing the doors to these. And I'm talking about these ungodly relationships. And, and if this is for you, you know, this is for you. Like God always speaks to us there. And this is even for our sons and our daughters. We do not want our sons and daughters being entangled. That's why you got to protect who your kids hang out with. That's why you got to know who your kids hang out with. Like we don't want our sons and daughters in any relationships that are not going to glorify God. We don't want them yoked up with any relationships that's going to pull them out of where they're supposed to be or doing the things that we're supposed to. And we don't want to be in any relationships that do not glorify God, any relationship in which God um, is not being lifted up and which is drawing us or any relationship. So Father God, I just decree and declare your word this morning. I thank you, Father God, that you're taking us out of relationships that do not glorify you, that you're gathering us from relationships, Father God, that you're sprinkling clean water on us, Father God, and that we're being cleansed this morning from all those relationships, cleansed from all impurities and cleansed from all idols. My God. God, Father God, I thank you that you're giving us a new heart and putting a new spirit in us, Lord God, and removing from us a heart of stone and giving us a heart of flesh, Father God. I thank you, Lord God, that you're putting your spirit in us and moving us to follow your decrees and be careful in all your laws. Any relationship, Father God, I thank you. You're gathering us out of the relationships that do not line up with your perfect will. I thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you're giving us the strength to walk away from those relationships. I thank you, Father God, that you're giving them eyes to see and ears to hear. And we thank you, Father God, for this, our sons and daughters, that we will not be entangled in anything that's dark or anything that cannot give you glory. I don't care if it's associate. I don't care what the relationship is. I don't care if it's business. I don't care if it's professional. If it's keeping us from seeing you, my God, if it's attracting darkness and the light is not, whatever it is, Lord God, whatever has us entangled, whatever we've yoked ourselves up with, whatever we've cut covenant with, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we drive out those force of darkness. We thank you, Lord God, that they're not going to be able to pull on our heartstrings, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, wherever our heart has been hardened, 
in the area of those relationships where we know you've been trying to detach us from those relationships, but we've still been staying connected to those relationships, maybe out of longevity, maybe out of just habit, maybe out of whatever. I thank you, Father God, right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, that you are strengthening my brothers and sisters, Father God, who have been in um like relationships, physical relationships that do not honor you, that you're giving them the strength to get up and walk out of those relationships, that they will not justify those relationships any longer. I thank you, Father God, that you are bringing them in covenant relationships, Father God, that honor you and that will glorify you. Father God, give them the strength they need, right? Longevity does not always leak equal legitimacy. It does not because somebody has been in your life for a long time does not mean that they are supposed to still be in your life in every season or in this season. Your relationships are supposed to glorify God. Even if you are, even if you're discipling somebody, even if you're mentoring someone, that relationship should be glorifying God. Relationships should be for the glory of God. And sometimes because we're such creatures of habit, we will do relationships out of habit. We will do relationships relationships out of norm. We will think that, oh, it's not that bad when the relationships are not godly relationships. So Father God, I thank you. You are causing us to come into godly relationships. Don't let us have any relationship in our life in which we have an idol. <laughs> My God, you're breaking those idols up, Lord God. We're lowering ourselves before you. Holy Spirit, reveal to us any relationship in our life that does not line up with your perfect will. We want to honor you today, Father God. I cover us in the blood of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord God, that you are strengthening our hearts so that we can come out of these places, shutting those doors, locking those doors, and not go. If I'm, I can, can I say this? Just because in the relationship God is mentioned doesn't mean God is in it. So you got to watch your associations. You got to watch things you're attached to just because you, the, that God is mentioned does not mean that God is in it. Right. And so we cancel every assignment, every relationship, right. That is not that we're not supposed to be connected to. And we drive out every force, every demonic force, every principality, every witch, every warlock, every spirit of familiarity. My God, everything that has left us in familiar places, everything that has left us entangled and anything does not give you glory. We drive it out right now in the name of Jesus. We cancel that assignment right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, you're giving us eyes to hear. My God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that you unclog our ears right now in Jesus name. My God, strengthen us, Lord. Quicken us, Father. Quicken us, Father. And if God reveals to you while we're praying this right now, while we're standing for each other and standing for our sons and daughters, um, if God quickens you about a relationship, just put that relationship before God and ask God to give you the strength to give up, God to give you the strength to give away. If you've been living with someone and you know God has been dealing with your heart that y'all shouldn't be living together, ask God to give you the strength to get up and walk away and to close that chapter on your life so that you can be in a relationship that honors God. So God that can bring you into the fullness of a marriage, right? Any, if it's not, if God can't get the glory out of it, as God, if God cannot get the glory out of it, we do not need to be attached into the, those relationships. Those relationships will leave us broken. God wants us in covenant relationships that glorify him. God wants us in relationships that honor, honor him, right? There's a scripture that you can stand on um, if you are struggling um, with um, living with someone. If you want to stand on that, I don't care. Like you could, there's a scripture at first, the last Thessalonians five and 22 says abstain from every form of evil, right? But test all things, hold fast to what is good. That's the 21st abstain from every form of evil. And then 23rd says now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely and may your entire spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, right? 
And so we're going to, we're going to do that. And then we're going to shun the very presence of evil. That's what that scripture said. Lord, help me to shun the very presence of evil. What that means is Lord, help me to avoid any behavior that might be perceived as being evil. And all you got to do is pray and ask God to strengthen you to not be connected in those relationships and that he give you the strength to get up and walk out of those relationships. Not you walking in condemnation not you whatever no we've all been in places we ain't had no business being in we've all been connected to things that we've had had no business being and so just ask the holy spirit lord i need some strength to walk away from these things that do not belong to me in this season that do not glorify you my god and he will begin to strengthen you and he will begin to quicken you and can i tell you something about god he will begin to love on you and nurture you out of this relationship god is not not ugly and that's why sometimes we won't bring these things to God because we don't know how God really deals with us because somebody taught us when we're in sin that God is so brutal and ugly God is so so much more interested in restoring you go read the, the story of the prodigal son when the son comes and returns and he's oh he's but he's talking about all he did wrong and the father doesn't even acknowledge what has been done wrong he just says let me restore you just find that scripture for them. That is powerful within itself. He doesn't even say that. He says, just let me restore you. Like, let me restore you. And so let the Lord keep loving on you. Let the Holy Spirit strengthen you, right? And I just believe strength is coming to you right now in the name of Jesus. And I drive out every force of darkness that's been zapping your strength. And that's been taking your strength from you and making you think you couldn't walk away from circumstances or re relationships that do not glorify God. Can you just decree, Lord, I don't want to be in any relationship that does not glorify you. Will you speak? Because when you contractly put your mouth out there, when you put your mouth out there on it, it'll begin to spin something from you, right? So Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father God, you're revealing to us those relationships that we find our strength in you in the name of Jesus that we will not make excuses, Lord God, and that you will be, especially for those of us that have been in ungodly like relationships as far as dating and created covenant. And y'all know what I mean by covenant, right? When we create covenant, when we come on, I cannot stop. When we grow up that when we sleep, because sometimes I have babies watching when we have, when we create covenant, anytime we sleep with someone, that's a, that's a covenant, right? We're creating, we were create, um, um, we create covenant. So once we create covenant, right, with someone, once covenant is created, that looks a little bit different. Then there's a stronghold there and then there's a soul tie and it makes it more difficult for us to walk away the relationship or the situation. So Father God, we just decree and declare that all soul ties are broken now in the name of Jesus. And soul ties don't have to just be sexual relationships. These can be covenant relationships that you cut with friends. These could be promises that you made, oaths. Oh, we'll always be friends. All of those things that just are covenants, but don't necessarily honor God in this season. Oaths that you swore to people. Father God, we drive out. We thank you, Lord. We don't swear to anything. Father God, forgive us for to swearing to any relationship. Father God, we are not supposed to swear to relationships. We thank you, Father God, you're revealing to us today those relationships that are ungodly that we've been swearing to, Father God, so that we can come out of them. That's it. I thank you, Father God, for sweet release in Jesus name. Amen. Even ask him about companies. Ask him about everything, associations, friendships, relationships. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just decree and declare your power is evident in our life and you are destroying the strongholds tearing down walls father god anything that is ungodly and does not line up with your perfect we don't want any relationship um if the anytime a relationship pulls you out of balance anytime a relationship is pulling you um into a place in which you're thinking about more of that relationship more than you're thinking about god then that relationship is probably an idol I don't, I, it does not matter. Like I felt the sweet release, right? It's sweet release. Yeah. 
It does not matter. Whatever, if the relationship, if you have your eyes more on the relationship than you have on God, then that relationship is probably an idol in your life. So if you've been trying to figure out if that, if being in that situation, you put more emphasis on that, then you put more on the emphasis in your relationship with God, then that's probably a sign that relationship is an idol. And then you need to pray and ask God to give you the wisdom and the strength of how to walk away from the relationship and how to walk into healthy relationships relationships that honor God, healthy friendships. God did not mean for us to be alone. This is not for you to retreat and retract. I ain't going to, I'm just not going to have no relationships. No, that's not how it works. God just give me the, the wisdom, the knowledge, Holy Spirit, do a greater work in me. Open my eyes, help for me, help me to help reveal to me the things that do not align with your perfect, um, your perfect, you know, your perfect will for my life. And God will begin to do it because once we set our words, um, when our words begin to give dictation, right, there's power and life and death and the power of the tongue. Proverbs 18, I think 24. So as once we set our words into motion, then the Holy Spirit, it gives the Holy Spirit permission to come in and do the rest. It gives the Holy Spirit permission to come in and do the rest. So you want to give the Holy Spirit because you don't want to be tied to those relationships that are just going to pull you out of covenant with God. It's more important for you to be in covenant with God than it is any relationship. So Lord God, I thank you for covenant relationships, ones on which um, can that keep me accountable and that I can walk in your glory and the fullness of who you call me to be. I felt sweet release. If you'll walk in that, if you'll let the Lord minister to you, I promise you he'll do a greater work in you. And sometimes it's not just as easy. You you know, just to people like get up and walk away. It's not so easy. It's not so easy. So just every day, ask the Lord to strengthen you every day. If, if you fall back into the same situation, Lord, I need your strength here so that I can walk away from this situation. Lord, I want to honor you. I don't want to be dishonorable. If you start saying that to God, if you start pleading, that's being broken and contrite, that will begin to transform your life. And then one day you'll realize there are some things that you thought you could never walk away from that you will walk away from. And you'll be able to walk away from those relationships without the grief. You'll be able to walk away from those relationships without the heaviness. You'll be able to walk away from those relationships without um, feeling the stench and the stink from, from those relationships, right? Because once we commit or we have soul ties or we have deep connections or we have pledges to people, right? We swear to people and all that other stuff that bonds us, that bonds us together. We're not supposed to like we, those swear oath covenants, covenants of mistrust, all those things that we've done in those relationships that we didn't do when we didn't know no better. So I hope that you get the release that you need this morning from those relationships and especially our sons and daughters that our sons and daughters not be tempted to do any any ungodliness through peer pr pressure through music through media or more that you are sanctifying them father and they are being drawn out of darkness into your marvelous light you know what i'm gonna grow up <laughs> i'm going to grow up i'm gonna grow up in exactly who he created me to be in jesus christ i'm gonna walk in faith more faith than i've ever walked in before and I'm going to trust God with all my heart. I've got to get to a position in place where I trust him in every area of my life. And so do you. Um, two things. If the Lord places on your heart, if this ministry has been a blessing to you, go over to the website, LakeishaMJohnson.com and give there or cash app us, dollar sign, L-M-J-M-I-N-I-S-T-R-Y. You may give there and you can go over to the website and find out all the ways that we um serve our community through your giving and what you're a part of and tammy burris one of our long-term partners says everything that you every time you give into this ministry you become a part of everything we do and that is the absolute truth we have feed the streets coming on we're slowing down just to get past this spike this curve we don't want any of our people sick because it seems to be it doesn't matter if you're vaccinated or not and i'm all about protecting our people don't forget ladies bible study Tuesday night. Woo, thank you, Lord, for our fellowship, for the women of God, and for what God is going to do in our life. And then back live in the morning, live at 
five. Invite your family members. Man, remember, we're trying to grow our morning fellowship. Fellowship. We want like so many people on live with us. So invite your people in. They can be Facebook Live or they can be YouTube Live. And they can definitely come back and replay it later. And do not forget all of the other inspiration that the Holy Spirit is sharing with us through the week. He is dropping reels. He is dropping impartation. We have sips, spiritual inspirational pause. Also Friday, cup this Friday, Tamika Hall. I cannot wait. And for the all of the all of those of you that register for Pillow Talk, it is completely closed. We'll send out your information, how to log on, and I cannot wait to see you on the 29th. Now let's close this out in our monthly. This this is our confession that we're using every day of this month. Um, got it off Bill Winston's website, but it is so powerful for you to build up your inner man. I love you. Hold on. Father God, this day I release the words of faith into the earth, spiritual seed that brings both a spiritual harvest and a natural physical manifestation into my life. I have no cares for I cast a hold of my cares over on Jesus for he cares for me. I have no heavy burdens because I've taken Jesus yoke, which is easy and his burden, which is light. I will not allow my soul to be cast down for I put my hope and trust in God. I'm above only and not beneath. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm blessed coming in and blessed coming out. I am one spirit with God and I abide in him always. I have the mind of Jesus Christ and the wisdom of God flows in me and through me. My body is the temple of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost for the fullness of God dwells in me. I tread upon serpents and scorpions, and I exercise righteous authority over all the power of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means hurt me. I'm skilled in the word of righteousness, and I call things that be not as if they were. I will not fear what man or spirit can do unto me, because no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Any tongue that rises up against me in judgment will be condemned. The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ covers my mind, my spirit, soul, and body, and has sanctified me and separated me from the world, the flesh, and the devil. I not only have my senses exercised to discern ooh, both good and evil, but I aggressively ooh, come against the kingdom of darkness for every plot and scheme Satan has waged against me and those around me. I'm more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ. I take my shield of faith and quench every, Satan's every fiery dart. I will not be distracted from doing the will of God and I will not stray to the left, to the hand, or to the right. I have sound judgment and discretion and I refuse to be deceived by Satan in any way. Ooh, thank you, Lord. My mind is sharp and I, my spirit, spirit is keenly sensitive to disturbances in the spirit realm. I watch and pray and prevent evil from taking place because the Holy Spirit shows me things to come. I'm equipped with spiritual armor and weaponry and I'm never caught off guard by the wicked one. I sow fruits of righteousness and will never back down from the truth. I'm bold as a lion and I refuse to be intimidated by the enemy. All things are mine, and I exercise dominion over the earth. I reign in life by Jesus Christ through grace and righteousness. My love weapon cast out all fear, and I aggressively love others unconditionally, for love never fails. All of my days are filled with abundance and prosperity because Jesus is Lord over them all. I choose to be a vessel through which his will can be done in earth. In Jesus' name, amen. That is our confession that reminds us of God's power and also his love. I love you. <laughs> I love you. But more than anything, God loves you. Do me a favor. Go be loved today. Let somebody else experience the love God, a love of God through you. And I'll see you back here in the morning. Live us at five, as my Judas Jay says. Love, peace, and blessings.